<laughs> now, now, now tell what you're doing. Okay, our thermometer. I don't know if that's a thermometer or a hindi kanchimila. It's a uh, turn the temperature up and down on our gas furnace. And yesterday it quit working. So I don't think it's the gauge here. But I'm going to check uh, some of the stuff inside there. The well, you gas. don't know if it's the gauge. Well, it doesn't seem to be working. But I'm not going to go buy a gauge. I don't know what's going on. How am I supposed to know? Well, I think what you ought to do is see if there's electricity going to it. It should turn on. You can hear it. Usually you can hear it. Either the either that well gauge is, is broken or there's no power going to it. That's just the bottom line to that. Yeah, that's true. So what I'd say, uh, Ream Heating Center. We're going to do some troubleshooting, guys, and uh, we're going to see about uh, what's going on out here. There's a transformer and heat uh, gas thing. I'm not a gas guy or anything, but I'm a troubleshooter. And it looks like we've got uh, pilot lights going down there. It's going pretty hard. I don't know if we're supposed to go that hard or not. I just stand here and get warm. Here's the transformer. I'm going to check and see if we've got any power to the transformer. And if we do, then uh, maybe it is the thermostat. Temperature gauge. Anyway, one step at a time. Now let's see. DC volts. I think we're supposed to put it on that. Right there. Maybe we need to have a light up there. That nine feet of cord. I don't have, I'm not getting anything. Nothing there. So, I'm going to go down and get one of those. Transformer. The transformer, it reduces. Is it warm? Is it warm or anything? No. No? It's cold. So, troubleshooting. Open that and see if there's power to. Well, I gotta take this off here. Yeah, take. I think this plate. I gotta get screwdrivers. And see if there's 110 going to it. Probably 115. 115. So that's the next process. Let's see here. Wiring diagram. Yeah, I can't read that. So, wiring diagram for gas fired forced air furnace. Honeywell. Transformer, thermostat. Okay, we need to check the uh, see if there's power going to this box. Just need to loosen them up a little bit. Built a lot with these transformers with our payphone routes down in Texas. Well, I'm gonna have to get that all the way out of there. And so we know it reduces the power to the thermostat and the, all the other working components. I don't know what they are because I never just want to get that screw out of there. Okay. I'm gonna check and see if I got power. To this stuff. Looks like you buy that old plate. So let's see if I can do this without killing myself. So those two. So that should be like a 115 or a 120. To 12, I guess. 12, no. What's that? It says 12 V D C. That's a 12, that's like a battery. That's like a battery, yeah. See, that's going to come off of there. Huh? I don't know. It's got 122 volts. So we've got power coming into it. 
So the transformer's bad. Transformer's bad. So what I'm going to do here, and I'll just go get one. Take they'll, a know, they'll know what the hell it is. Yeah, take a picture of it. I'm just going to put this back on here and then go down there, get one of these. Well, that's and not... hopefully, hopefully there's nothing wrong with this gas. Like it blew something up? Because I heard something the other day. Yeah? What would you hear? It sounded like it was... Oh, yeah? So I don't know. Well, the uh, transformer is not any power going out of it, but there's power going into it. Hey, everybody. This is Mike. I went down and got a transformer, and they charged me $32 for it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to check the transformer um, and make sure that it's got good power to it. And the green is the positive and, or the, uh, and the red is the common. So I've got to hook those as it goes out of here. This is, this is where one goes to, uh, it's got to complete a circuit. You see? I'm going to see if I can hook this power up. I put this little screw in there just to hold this for temporary. And I'm going to undo this one. Oh shit, now the whole thing's undone. Yeah, this has got to be the common. See, it says negative on there, so that's right. Can't spin it around. Don't try this at home. Should shut the electricity off before you try anything like this. Ta-da! Good job, Cletus. Yeah, that's me. Cletus. Von Hellstring. <laughs> now, get over here. Hook it to the main one. Okay, now, ah, can't touch anything else. <laughs> <laughs> you can't touch the metal. You can't ground. I've been shocked more times than I. Oh, a dog an taking a shit. Then what? Then a dog taking a shit. Then an eel. I cannot touch that shit or it'll blow that up. Go get your pliers. <laughs> <laughs> it work it's working. It's sparking. I didn't blow up, so so far so good, I guess. It's alive. Okay, now let's check the bolts. So this one, the common is supposed to be the, the red. Or the green, no. Yeah, the red. So, I got that black hooked up. Let's see if we get anything. 27. It's supposed to go down to 12, he said. Well, at least it works. 
Now, let's put these little caps on there. Where's those? I think the green one goes here. I'm just going to connect it and then I'm just going to touch the other one, see what happens. Do you understand? Now, danger, danger. <laughs> Danger, danger, Will Robinson. You learn by blowing things up. <laughs> I've done plenty of that in our time. And I'll have myself a professional looking shit. Okay, ready? Here it goes. Let's see if uh, thermostat works. It shows over 70 degrees in here. Go a bit. I could check and see if we got power up here. Deal. Okay. Yeah, there's the red and there's the neutral. Test them. Hmm. Was there no power to that? What I found out is that the thermostat is not working because you can move it back and forth and it's not igniting. Okay, we're going to disconnect the thermostat from the line and go direct. The uh, well, you're seeing if it's not working. You're gonna see if it's a thermostat. Okay, I'm. That's. I want to see if it's the thermostat or if it's the mouse. We got everything hooked up down there. Got a new uh, transformer on there, and it's putting out 25 volts or 27 volts. And uh, so we're gonna ch see if the uh, thermostat works. See if it ignites. And it's it's not engaging. It's not here. You usually can hear a little click or something. And we're not hearing anything. So I'm going to see if the thermostat's any good by going direct from the transformer to the heat pump. The gas so you're going to bypass the thermostat to see if it's the thermostat or something else. And yeah. we have to go further. So we're just troubleshooting. I have some uh, wires that I have for like uh, extension from here to there. So what I did is I just trimmed them off both ends. I'm going to put a wire cap on this end so it doesn't hit anything. And a wire cap on the end of this one so it doesn't hit anything. Well, maybe I'll have to use the smaller one for that. And then I'm going to disconnect the uh, thermostat from the system here. This goes to the thermostat. And this goes to that you, over there. And that's from the thermostat, I imagine. So, what we're gonna do is hook this wire to here. That's the... Uh, this is the main power. The, the power line. Actually... Uh, one, 120 or one, whatever it is. It goes to 25 volts. Yeah, down to 25. Now we'll just put uh, this cap on here. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll disconnect this one. And put it to here. Make a good connection. Maybe it'll work better. Okay. Now I'm going to take these right from the transformer to the top of that heat pump regulator, what you want to call it. We'll see which way it goes. If you hear a click. Well, 
okay, that's good. So we know that the thermostat, whether we ruined it or... So you know, the thermostat would go up to a certain temperature in the house and it would disconnect. Well, that's good. Well, so it's a thermostat now. Maybe. <laughs> Well, I'm pretty sure it's a thermostat. I'm pretty sure it's a thermostat, but you never know. All right, so now I got to get a thermostat. A Honeywell thermostat, I guess. All right, well, at least it came on. Yeah, that's a good thing. It's not. It's not this. This regulates the gas. There's valves in there and stuff. I'm assuming, and uh, so good. I guess good. I wish the thermostat would have worked, but it is pretty darn old, I would say. Wouldn't you, Mike? I would say it's old. This whole thing is old. This whole thing is old. And when we took it apart to test it, maybe we did something? Well, I heard something the other day. It was making some noises. and Well, we know it was this. We know this was bad. Transformer. Well, let's see. This, this one goes... Well, that was a I'm going to put it back like it was. Yeah. Whether it was a thermostat that blew. Here. We're just not getting any connection from. That, uh, well, thermostat. at least we got that, huh? Yes. Troubleshooting using common sense. And, uh, okay, I don't think we need to show putting that all back together, do we? Or do you want to? No, not really. I'm just going to put it back like it was. You've already seen that. Now this transformer come with this plate. Old one. The old transformer, which is dead. I got the new one over there. And just hanging on the uh in the screw holes. And what I'm gonna try to do is get this transformer off there. It looks like it's kind of beveled out, flared out here. So I'm gonna see if I can get on the other side over there. I'm just gonna take this old screwdriver, which is screwed up anyway and see if I can knock this. I'll check for power and see if I got power still. Sure you do. Alright, that's good enough. Okay. That's good enough. Okay. Good job. Okay, everybody, I got the power shut off at the breaker, and, and as you can see, this is a two-wire system and uh, on the thermostat. So it was a uh, one of those uh, mercury-loaded Honeywells. So I got a new thermostat, and so I'm going to take this little plate off of there, and I'm going to install the new... Honeywell thermostat. Take this off there. And I'm going to troubleshoot this whole system. I burnt that other transformer up. So I'm going to take this uh, furnace apart and then I'm going to follow all the wires and see if I can find a problem as to why that burnt up and I probably hooked up that transformer wrong so I'm just going to do the troubleshooting and take the furnace apart which I don't know anything really about them but uh, I'm going to try to follow the wires and try not to loop it and we'll see what goes from there? 
There. So as you see, that's a two wire thermostat. This Honeywell home system. <clears throat> so there's a little, as you can see right here, there's a little pin right there. And I'm going to pull that pin out. And uh, the W and the R, I'm going to put the white one on the W and the red one on the R. And I don't need to use this one because that's, I think that's for air conditioning. And this is a non-programmable uh, unit. So I'm going to hook those wires up right now. Now, like I said, the breaker's off. So I'm going to go through the back here, like so. And uh, I've already stripped these wires down so they'll be smaller to go fit into that. And I'll make sure I'm on the white right here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's this one. Okay. Should fall in there. Make sure it's in there good. Okay. Tighten that down. Not used red. Not used red. So it's this one here, to the second to the end. And put the red wire in here. Skip one. Put it in there. There it goes. Like I said, there was a little jumper pin that went from uh, the R to the RC, and I took that out. All right, tight. All right, now, we already tore this wall out a while back. I just want to make sure this all works. Okay. I'm just going to put this on here. Like I said, this takes triple batteries. This plugs into the bottom right here. So I'm just going to hook that up. And it snaps in there. There. So I'll, I'll anchor that later. It's got a heat, off, and cool. Fan. It doesn't hook to the fan. Okay, I blew this transformer. Paid thirty-two dollars for it, and I blew it. I don't know why. So this is a uh, Ream heating center, which I don't know anything about. So I do know about wiring and loops. So maybe. If I look at this more closely, uh, and I'll do some testing on it, and uh, let's see, imagine this just pulls up like this. There. Picture of the... Filter removal. I didn't know they had the filters in this. We've been using taking the filter out from the hallway. That's the only filter I knew of. So anyway, maybe there's some filters in there that have never changed. So that might be part of the problem why that transformer blew up. So um, okay, let's see. There's a bunch of switches on this. Here's a, oh, that switch there, the reset switch was out, and I just pushed that back in, so that might make a difference. 
This is the uh, white wire that goes up to the thermostat. And then the red wire goes to the, uh, the gas pump or the regulator, gas regulator, I guess you might call it. All right. Okay. What I'm going to do, uh, continue on here, is uh, I'm going to take this plate off. And I found out that on this little panel, there's a called a uh, limit switch. I'm going to check and see if that's good. And uh, found out that you can test them by uh, putting the uh, tester on it. The ohms tester and it should make a buzzing sound or a tone if it's good so I'm gonna test that but I gotta I wanna go have to take this apart and then go turn the power on and check the power in here this was already off before so let's just look at the wires and see what the wires are doing Okay, now this here is a uh, uh, limit switch. I don't know how that thing is set up. I'm just, I'm not going to touch it. But let's check and see what the wires are doing. Okay, just follow my finger here. This one uh, comes out, goes Looks like it wiggles up to there. And that little one, I just push that reset button. That goes up to there. Okay. Then one of these wires, which uh, then goes down to the first uh, a post on the uh, fuel pump. Okay. So that goes, this goes up, that goes down, and then this goes to the thermostat up there. So now we know that. So this will connect to thermostat. The white goes to this one and the, this one goes to that one. That's how that connects. Which the, the uh, transformer goes down to 27 uh, amps. So I gotta test that. I gotta hook this up. Plus I wanna check the fan. I want to make sure the fan is working. So before I put this on there, I'm going to check the fan. And then I've got to um, hook. Okay, I do know that this this is uh, we're going to put this as a positive line. Which I've marked one of these as negative and positive. So this is positive. I'm going to hook this line up to that. And then I'm going to check the fan if I get to it. I think it's in there, so I'm going to have to, before I turn everything on, I want to get the fan. Okay. Like I said, everything's off. Power's off. Power's off. Breaker's off. Yeah, the breaker's off. And this wire, or this plug goes into here and then up to the fan, I think. Yeah. So one of them goes up here and then the other one's like that. It's like a, like a probably a light switch. Is how that's, that's how that works. All right. So I'm going to put this on here. Like I said, this is the uh, 120 line to the breaker. Now, I'll put a cap on this so it doesn't touch anything. And a cap on this one so it doesn't touch anything. <laughs> so now we've got that. These, they just seem to want to go touch something. Let's take this, uh, this out. Let's see how we get this off. There. 
All right. Well, it looks like there's a filter in there. It's just laying there. God, I don't know about these things. Ooh. Don't breathe that. It's been in there for... I've never changed them, have you? No. Another filter there. That uh, diagram don't look like that. This this is where the doors I just opened right there. <laughs> I think they go up. See that? Well, there's a bar right there. I think they lay on that up there. Look at that cheap piece of shit. <laughs> Okay. Okay, here's uh, the fan. Oh, shit, look at that. I just come off. That's not, that's not good. Well, okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get this off of that one. You know what? I'm just I'm just going to cut it. You can only blow yourself up once. Strip them. Oh. And it didn't cause a problem. And I'll test it see if I got 120 out of that before I start pushing things around, you know. Make my own connections. If I can wire that Mr. Cool up, I can wire this thing up. <laughs> okay, now this I'm going to have to put a cap on because it's got, it, it'll be hot coming out of here. Which I, like I say, I'm going to bypass it. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to turn the power on. All right, now. Voltage regular meter. I can test it from here. Put one in here. Grab this one. 123. Well, Got plenty of voltage there. Okay, so now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to check the fan. <coughs> Just if I see if it starts is all I want to try to do. Ow! <laughs> hey, sure you want to shut it off? No, I'll go shut it off. I'll be right back. Here, hold that. Don't touch them together. Sort out. everything out. Wire cap. Okay. See negative. I'd just rather live my life a little bit longer than today. Okay. Now just hold on to that, I'll go turn the power back on, and then we'll see if that fan works. If it works, then we know we don't have a problem there. Slid down. Okay, the fan works. Squirrel cage. As they say, it's wearing. Okay, it works. Electric wearing. Wearing. <laughs> Okay, let me uh, hang on here. Let me take this off of here. 
while I got the power on, I'm going to check that limit switch. Cap? Yeah. No. All right, now I'll turn it on the uh, ohm. And then I'm going to touch this <coughs> leads here. And if it makes a tone, then it's good. Noise. All right, let's see. Yeah, it's got to have a transformer hooked up to it. That's why it's not working. Okay, I'm going to go shut that off. We'll check it again in a minute. Okay, I'm going to hook the fan back up first. Get some uh, shrink tape on this. That would be better than electrician tape, anyway. I got my tie pants on. All right, put that on there before you... That works better. Okay, let's see how long I... Probably need to cut that off some. good what I have in my hand okay cut that off a little bit Stays there. Well, I crimp it. It shouldn't have no pressure on it, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll put this shrink tape over the top of that. There. And I'll get some heat on that. Mine in either. Show every goose nauseating detail. Well, you don't have to. Nobody said you did. Let me just clamp, clamp, doop, doop, done. I am good. <laughs> That's not my first rodeo with wiring, but it's my first rodeo with this heater. Probably gonna, if, it, if this works. Probably saved about a thousand dollars easily. No, well, they want to sell it, but they want to sell it. A new, a new unit from China. Yeah. <coughs> okay, now we got that. And I'll shrink that up after I hook this up down Make here. Make sure it works. Yeah. Okay, now my white wire here. Let me hook the transformer up. Take this off of there. Look at that. Put that on there. I put the black wire. Now the red, or the blue, and the 
on the diagram back here, you can see that it says uh, right here, common, white, and the black is 120. So that's what we're going to do. And if it were this, if it was this, or you know, these two come out, and that's that's what it's going to uh, transform. It's going to knock it down to 24 volts. So this is 24 VAC. So it drops it down. So the white and the black is 120. And then you just hook these. Now this one, uh, the yellow one, I'm going to hook to the. Uh, Thermostat, the white thermostat, and then the blue one I'm going to hook to the uh, limit switch. And we should have an active unit then. And it probably should fire up. So we'll see. It should be alive. So I don't know what to do with this. I need to have it set it on something. I'll set it here. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm going to go turn it on. Go I'm going to shut this off. Turn that off. Hand me my phone in there. I can make sure I can turn the right breaker on. Hopefully this will work. Okay, let's see. Hopefully nothing will blow up. Ah. Did you get it? Yeah, probably. Well, I guess it works. Now the fan ought to turn on. What's that? Here. And I'll start up here in a minute. It's got to heat up to whatever temperature. It's on this, right? I guess. Nothing blew up, so. melt down everything. Come on, baby. Well, when I turned the switch on, it came on. It's hooked up, isn't it? came on, everything's on, everything's running. Now I got to uh, the filters in. Oh yeah. Why'd they have them laying there like that? They must have fallen off. Alright. I think I have some of those filters. Off. It works. That's good. Yeah, and I gotta mount that uh, transformer on that plate. And I got some. Uh, Are you gonna put it on the plate? I thought you weren't gonna do that. Well, I have some uh, s smaller screws. I'm not gonna stick through there that far. We'll test it. So I'm gonna go shut everything off and let's we'll shut these off too. Nope. Yeah, shut that off. Yay, it works. Yeah. Shut that off. I'm going to go shut the... Uh, breaker off. Breaker off, and then I'm going to make that plate. 
so we want to get that on film too because I'm a wonderful person. I'm excited. Yeah. That uh, means it saved about a thousand dollars. Yep. I think I'm gonna put some shrink tape up around that so it doesn't short out. These other ones don't matter because there's no power to them. Put this on that. Make sure of good connections. Good connections. All right. Then this one in there. Do the wire and test it. We'll test it and I'll turn it off. It's good. You don't need to. Okay, turn it back on. Yeah, it's working. I'm going to put this thing together. Oh, I'm going to put some filters in there. Let me just shut it off from here. Fan sounds better. These are good for uh, 90 days, and it's for the ream. Well, that doesn't show air duct support. Well, just try to put it in there. Let me cover the hole. Yeah. Completely. Well, we had the uh, quiet cool, or whatever that is. And uh, thank God it had heat because it was zero degree, or close to zero around here, and it, at least it kept a little warm around here, huh? Yeah. I guess that's, if, if somebody has something to say about it, then maybe they can tell us if it's on their right or not. All right, both sides. Okay. Oh, All right, that's it. I gotta shrink tape this, so let me go get my lighter. All right, maybe. Double the double the strength. That's weird that that was so. Well, it's probably been loosening up every time it things started before. You know, yeah. bangs around, can't breathe. Well, there you have it, folks. Good job, Mike. Give me a thumbs up. For not knowing what the heck I'm doing, it started. You know what you're doing. And so, 
What I say is... A lot of stuff is just common sense. After you've done it, after you've done electrical stuff, you get the idea of electrical stuff. And you read diagrams and stuff, so... There you have it. Oh! Here, put this cover back on that. Should take but a minute. Might as well there! That popped right in there, you son of a bitch. Ooh, I got my hot pants on. I'm not sure of anything. I wouldn't have known there was filters in there if I wouldn't have seen that. <laughs> that wire was off. I don't see how it was even working before it even was. Maybe it wasn't. quieter it's blowing a lot better everywhere I got it it's a hell of a lot quieter well it's quiet there it is. and there you have it folks hey. I'll draw that thing. do it yourself fix it with the long bro <laughs> got one Got one more filter to change, but I'm not going to film that. All right, guys. Hope that helps you out some. I know it helped me out. Hey, everybody. This is Mike with Fixing It with the Long Bros. Hey, everybody. This is Mike. Let's with... go put a hat on. You can okay. see that bald spot and your hair is sticking it straight up in the back. You say what? It's not working? <laughs> hey guys, uh, our th temperature thermometer here, I guess they call it up. Stand right up there. Now, now, <laughs> now tell what you're doing. Oh, I get blue. I get blue in the evening too. Yeah. I get blue in the morning time. I get blue in the evening too. If the evening come around too long Lord have mercy, I get blue In the, in the afternoon <laughs> Listening to the birds outside my window 